Hello and welcome to the new Rebels Players production of The Addy Machine by Elder Rice. We now ask you to take this time to turn off and silence any cell phones, pages, or any other electronic devices so as not to disturb the actors or your fellow patrons. There will be no intermission during this show. It is only 75 minutes. If you have to go to the bathroom, you can wait, you can hold it, it will be fine, I promise. If you enjoy the show, or even if you don't, you can find us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and a WordPress page. And finally, if at any time during the show you feel like you've come under an existential crisis, please know that this is completely normal. Enjoy the show. Just like us, knit. 
I guess by the time it comes up time, all the parts about kicking open the door will be cut out. Just like we've got a big cab racing in the price of virtue. Be sure to pull some rough stuff and pictures nowadays. It's no place for a young woman. I was telling Mrs. Levin just the other day. By the time the pictures come up time, half of it's cut out. But you want to go downtown. Not a wild horse wants to drink. You can't wait till you, they come uptown. Well, I won't wait, see? I'll see what everyone else has seen and I'm not a month later. And look what Tommy went down the price. You get to get the price all right, all right, if you wanted to. I notice you always got the price to go to the ball game, but when it comes to me having a good time, it's always, I ain't got the price. I gotta start safe. Fat line will never say, do you know that can make both ends meet and you talk about safe. No, give me any of that stuff about being tired. I'll be working hard on Twice a day in the subways is enough for me. Tired. Where do you get that tired stuff anyhow? What about me? Where do I come in? Scrubbing the floors and cooking your meals and doing your dirty laundry. And you sit in the chair all day, just adding up fingers and waiting for five thirty. There ain't no five thirty for me. I don't get no whistle. I'll get no day each day either. And what's more, I like to know I don't get no candle every Saturday night either. I like to know where you would be without me. What I have to show for? Slaving my life away. But I guess it's my own fault. I was a fool for marrying you. Finally, it's sad to have known what you were from the start. You was going to do wonders, you was. You wasn't going to be a bookkeeper long. Oh no, not you. Just wait till you get started. You was going to show. There was no job in the store that was too big for you. Well, I've been waiting. Wait for you to get started, see? It's been a good long way, too. Twenty-five years, and I ain't seen nothing happen. Twenty-five years and the same job. Twenty-five years tomorrow. You're proud of it, ain't you? Sitting for twenty-five years in the same desk, adding up things. Well, I'm going to need store manager. I guess you forgot about that, didn't you? And me sitting in the same house, staring at the same four walls, working up fingers to the bone. Seven years since you got a race, and if you'll be with tomorrow, I'll bet a nickel you won't have the guts to go and ask for them. I ain't so much where I paid you. I'll tell the world. You ain't nothing to be proud of. She ain't walking around tonight. Bet you sweet life on that. And she won't be walking around any more nights, neither. Not in this house, anyway. The dirty bum. The idea for come to live with respectable people. Should have given her six years, not six months. If I was the judge, I'd have never played her. Something like that. I guess you're sorry she's gone. I bet you'd love to sit around every night just watching her going down. There's something proud of you are. You better not start nothing with women. If you know what's good for you, I put up with a lot, but I don't put up with that. I've been slaving away for 25 years, making it home for you, and not for the show for it. You will say you have a man, you have a decent job right now, and I can get some comfort out of life. So just being a slave, washing pots, and standing on my hot stove. So that for 25 years, and I guess I have to stay on for 25 more. So don't you go start nothing with women.
Give up, little cancer. What's the rush? Tomorrow's another day. Oh, you make me sick. And you make me sicker. <laughs> oh, on, we're losing time. Then quit being so bossy. Three dollars, three forty-five, forty-five cents, thirty cents, eighty cents. Who do you think you are, anyhow? Who do I think I am? Just tell your work. Oh, uh, don't be giving me so many orders. Seventy-five cents, eighty cents, four dollars, four twenty-five. I don't have to take it from you, and what's more, I won't. Quit your talking. I'll talk all I want today. Three dollars, four dollars, <laughs> forty-two cents. I'll be shooting off in your face about something. Who do you think you are? Just like all the other people. Bossing me around? I have to take it from you, and what's more, I won't. I'm in the sick of this. 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 Never a decent word out of it. Not even the dime a day. I bet you're sore at me. 45 cents. Maybe she's trying to kill me when she gets out. I better be careful. 125. Hello. Girl slays accuser. A jealous wife slays rival. Never know what a woman's life can do. I better be careful. Yeah, I guess she didn't have the nerve at that. Maybe she don't even know it's me. They didn't even know I didn't prepare this for you. I ain't done nothing to you. Maybe she's been there before. Ball like that. She didn't have nothing on that time. Nothing but a shirt. I wish I was dead. I'm sick of looking at your face. I wish I was dead. Your face is getting all yellow. Why don't you put some paint on it? I'm scared to do it. I'm not paint that one time. On the cheeks and on the lips and the blue stuff all over her eyes. Forty cents, forty-five cents. Ah, just sitting there in a shimmy, putting on paint, walking around the room with her legs all bare. I was a goddamn fool to let the wife be on me. Forty-two cents. I was a goddamn fool to let the wife be on me. She ought to get sent to my dad. Living in the house with respectable people. That would be swell. <laughs> the wife's got a ride on me now. I can't Maybe you ought to move in there. She's the one you're living now. What better to tell you about it? I don't think you'd be always picking on you. What'd you say? I didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh, I thought you did. Well, you thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna care if I did ask. I don't 
I was in Latakia in 25 years. I got up like, there's a big race coming to me. Yes, sir. If you don't come across, I'm walking right up to the front office and tell him where he gets off. Boss will say, I want to have a talk. Time at the score picnic. Sure. He'll say, sit down. Have your wife for a while. No, thanks. I'll say, yeah, I don't know. were nice to me then. How's that? He'll say, well, I'll say it's like this. They were together all day. I used to take a nickel and I put it in the old sock. A penny saved is a penny earned. Is that what they call? That's sensible, you you got a wise head on you, Zero. <laughs> Boss will say, I ain't quite satisfied. I've been on the job 25 years, and if I want to see a future ahead of me, I've got to see a future ahead of me. Dirty they want the I'm glad you came in here, Zero, they'll say. I bet my eye on you, nothing gets by me. Oh, I know what that boss will say. That land will laugh that well. You're a valued land, Zero, they'll say. And I want you right up here with you. You got that figure. I'm going to move up here. You could have kissed me. You could right on up after that. Them kisses in the middle. It's about two years, and I'll show them where I'm going to get off. And me from a place in Jersey. Maybe a little Buick. Put his arms around her, and her head fell back, and her eyes closed. Like she was in a daze. I guess that's what it's like, kind of daze. He just put his lips against hers. Oh. It must be grand. The whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mr. Boyle.
ones are coming, and the twos, and the threes, and the fours, and the fives, and the sixes. Did I tell you be home on time? I might as well talk to a stone wall. <laughs> I guess you must have had a lot of business to attend to, like watching the scoreboard. Or, or was two kids having a fight and you was the referee? <laughs> You sure you have a lot of business to attend to. It's a wonder you have time to come home at all. You sure do have a tough life, you got. Walk in, hang up your hat, and put on the nose band. And me standing in a hot kitchen all day, just waiting for you to get good and ready to come home. I guess the boss must have kept you late tonight today, didn't he? Tell you what a big noise you are. And how the store couldn't have gotten along if you hadn't been pushing a peg for 25 years. Where's the gold medal you pinned on you? Did some blind old lady steal it from you? Or did you leave it on the seat of the boss's limousine when he drove you home? <laughs> I guess he must have given you a big raise, didn't he? Promote you from the third floor to the fourth, maybe? Raise. Fat chance you gotta get in the race. All they gotta do is put an ad in the paper. There's 10,000 like you just sitting around on the street. You'll be holding on the same job at the end of another 25 years. She ain't forgot how to ad by that time. <laughs> the company's here already and we ain't hardly finished supper. But I'm going to clear the table. Whether you're finished or not, if you want your supper, you got right to be home on time. Not standing around looking at scoreboard. Wait a second, do you want them to see all this mess? And go change your collar, you got red ink all over that one. I think I'm <laughs> For 25 years, you've learned how to do it without getting ink on your collar. I guess I can stay up all night now doing dishes. You should worry. That old man's got a white for in it. Don't you buy her her clothes and sit at the same table as her? All she's got to do is cook the meals, do the scrubbing, and clean the dishes when the company goes. But believe me, you're going to be sleeping at me and dish towel when the company goes tonight. <laughs> There's the bell again. Open the door, can't you? <laughs> I think we ought to change the subject. 
6 and 6 is 12, and 5 is 17, and 8 is 25, and 3 is 28. 8 and carry 2 and... God damn them figures! I can't get them out of my head. God damn them figures. 25 years. 25 years holding down the same job. 8 hours a day, except on Sundays, and uh, July and August, half day Saturday. And, um... One week's vacation with pay, and another week without pay, if you want it. <laughs> Who the hell wants it? <laughs> Laying around the house, listening to your wife tell you where you get off. Nix! <laughs> and, uh, legal holidays, I almost forgot about them. New Year's Day, Washington's birthday, Declaration Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Election Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And Good Friday, if you want it. And if you're a Jew, Yom Kippur, and the other one, I'm sure they call it. There is that, let's get through to the other guy's one. And uh, if the holiday falls on a Sunday, you get Monday off, so that's fair enough. But, if 4th of July falls on a Saturday, you're out of luck on the count of Saturday being a half day already. You get me? 25 years. Now, I'll tell you something funny. <coughs> Decoration Day and 4th of July always fall on the same day of the week. 25 years. Never missed a day, never more than five minutes late. Look at my time card if you don't believe me. 8.31, 8.25, 8.26, 8.34, 8.32, 8.32 and 40. 40 and... God damn, God damn the figures, I can't get them out of my head. They're, they're funny, the figures. They look like people sometimes. Uh, the eight, see? Uh, you got two dots for the eyes and a dot for the nose and a line. That's the mouth, see? And um, there's others remind you of, of other things, but I uh, can't talk about them on account of them being ladies here. <laughs> sure. I killed them. Why didn't he shut up? If only he shut up instead of talking and talking about how sorry he was and what a good guy I was and this and that, I felt like saying to the guy, for Christ's sake, shut up. But I didn't have the nerve. I didn't have the nerve to say that to the boss. And he went on talking, saying how sorry he was. And he was standing right close to me. And his coat had only two buttons on it. And two and two is four, and can't. And there was the bill file on the desk, right where I could touch it. It ain't right to kill a guy. I know that. When I read all about him in the papers and about his three kids, I felt just like a cheapskate, I tell you. They had his kids' pictures in the papers right next to mine, and his wife's, too. Gee, it must be nice to have a wife like that. <laughs> Some folks sure is love. And he left $50,000 just for a restroom for the girls in the store. $50,000. He was a good guy at that. $50,000. That's more than twice as much as I'd have if I've saved every nickel I ever made. Let's see. 25 and 25 and... And, and the ads had a big black border around them. And all it said was that the store would be closed for three days on account of the boss being dead. That nearly ended me a laugh that day. All the fires and floor walkers and high muckle mucks having me to thank for getting three days off. <laughs> I hadn't ought to kill them. I ain't saying nothing about that. But I thought he was going to give me a raise, and I kind of been there 25 years. Uh, I hadn't thought of him. 25 years. He never talked to me before, except uh, one morning we happened to come into the store together. And uh, I held the door open for him, and he said, thanks. Just like that. Thanks. That was the only time he ever talked to me. So when I seen him coming up to my desk, I didn't know where I got off. A big guy like that coming up to my desk? I felt like I was choking like. And all of a sudden I got a taste in my mouth that he gave me to wake up in the morning. Ah, 25 years. Oh my God, 25 years holding down the same job. 52 weeks in the year. And there was the bill file on the desk, right where I could touch it. I had no right to kill him. The district attorney was right about that. Killing a bird, that's wrong. But there was that dame, see? 
The judge gave her six months. It was a dirty trick telling other cops something like that. I shouldn't have done it. But what was I going to do? The wife wouldn't let up on me. I had to do it. She used to walk around the room wearing nothing but an undershirt. Nothing else on. Just an undershirt. The judge gave her six months. That's the last I'll ever see of her. <laughs> Them birds. How do they get women? Just grabbing women the way you see them do in the streets? I've seen them outside like to grab like that. In the subway on the street, and in the store, buying things. <laughs> Pretty soft for them shoe salesmen. Looking at women with legs all day long. <laughs> them boys, they give me a pain. A pain. Saying the same thing over and over again. I never said I didn't kill him. But that ain't the same as being a regular murderer. What good did it do me to kill him? I didn't make nothing out of it. Answer yes or no. Yes or no, my elbow. Those are things you can't answer yes or no. Ah, oh, there's some things you can't answer yes or no. They could be a pain, I tell you. And I can't get the figures out of my head either. 25 years, never missed a day. 52 weeks in a year. 52 and 52 and 52. Uh, give me the one for you guys. Do I look like a murderer? Do I? <laughs> Ask the wife. She'll tell you. Ask anybody. I never got into trouble. You wouldn't count that one time at the ballpark. That was just some fun, like, see? Everybody was yelling, kill the empire, kill the empire. And before I knew what I was doing, I fired the cop on him. <laughs> that was just some fun, like, see? It was on account of everybody yelling like that. <laughs> Dirty bastard. Call it that one. Strike a mile away from the plate. <laughs> Anyhow, bottom didn't hit him. And when I see the cop coming up the aisle, I beat it. <laughs> that didn't hurt nobody. That was just some fun, like, see? I'm a pretty steady guy. You gotta admit that. 25 years in one job, never missed a day. 52 weeks in a year. 52 and 52 and 52 is. <laughs> They didn't have to look for me, did they? I didn't try to run away, did I? Where was I going to run to? I wasn't thinking about that at all. I'll tell you what I was thinking about. I was going to pray to the wife about being canned. <laughs> he canned me after 25 years. Did the lawyers tell you about that? I forget. All that talk gives me a headache. Objection sustained. Objection approved. <coughs> Answer yes or no gives me a headache. And I can't get them figures out of my head either. But that's what I was thinking about. How I was going to break it to the wife about being canned. And about what Mr. Boyle would think when she heard about me killing him. <sighs> I guess she never thought I had the nerve to do it. I'd have married her if the wife had passed the boy. I'd be holding down my job yet if the boss had to can me. But he went on talking. And there was the bill file on his desk. Right where I can touch it. You get me? I'm just a regular guy, like anybody else, like you were now. Suppose you was me. Maybe you'd have done the same thing. That's the way you ought to look at it. Suppose you was me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 just a second, you don't get it right. I am all mixed up on account of the lawyers and the figures in my head, but I'm going to tell you how it was. He came me after 25 years, see, and the judge gave her six months, see?
cemetery. <laughs> oh, put your kid. Oh, come on, you don't mean to say. What's the matter with this place? A cemetery? Sure. What of it? You must be crazy. This place is all right, I tell you. I've been here lots of times. Next time, let's go back to
but it was all hopeless. At 14, I started to show evidence of my sinful nature. You didn't kill anybody else, did you? No, thank God. <laughs> but I did run away from home. You did? A companion of mine lent me a profane book. The only profane book I've ever read, I'm glad to say. It was called Treasure Island. <laughs>
Wasn't expected to see you here. Say, this sure is a nice place. Wouldn't mind resting here a while. You may if you like. <laughs> kind of tired. I ain't used to being outdoors. I ain't walked so much in years. I sit down here under the tree. Do they like to sit on the grass? Oh, yes. <laughs> Boy, this feels good. I'll tell the world my feet are sore. I ain't walked so much in years. Uh, say, I wonder, would it be alright if I took my shoes off? My feet are tired. Oh, yes. Some of the people here go barefoot. <laughs> and it sure must be nuts. But I will leave them off for a while, so long as it's alright. The grass feels nice and cool. Say, this is the life of Riley, alright. Alright. It sure is a nice place. What do they call this place, anyhow? The Elysian Fields. The which? The Elysian Fields. Oh. Well, it's a nice place, all right. <laughs> it's known as the most desirable of all places. Only the most favored remain here. Yeah? Well, that lets me out, I guess. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be burned by now. Because <laughs> <laughs> your eye the most unhappy of men. Why? Because you ain't being roasted alive? Nothing is turning out as I expected. I saw it all so clearly. The flames, the torment, an eternity of suffering as the just punishment for my unspeakable crime. But it's all turning out so differently. Well, that's pretty soft for you, ain't it? <laughs> no, no, no! It's right and just that I should be punished. I could have endured it stoically. All through those endless ages, I should have exulted in the magnificence of divine justice. But this? This is maddening. What becomes of justice? What becomes of morality? What becomes of right and wrong? It's maddening. Simply maddening. If only Tuckter ever agreed to advise me. You mean to say they ain't called you for cutting your mother's throat? No. It's terrible. Terrible. I was prepared for anything. Anything but this. Well, what did they say to you? Only that I was to remain here until I understood. I don't get it. What do they want you to understand? I don't know. I don't know. If only I had an inkling of what they meant. Just listen closely for a moment. Do you hear anything? No. Nope. <laughs> don't hear any music. Music? No. I don't hear nothing. The people here say the music never stops. Well, they're kidding you. Do you think so? Sure thing. They're in a sound. Perhaps. They're capable of anything. But I haven't told you the bitterest of my disappointments. Well, spill it. I'm getting used to hearing bad news. <laughs> when I first came here, my first thought was to find her mother. I wanted her to ask for her forgiveness. I wanted her to help me to understand. And she couldn't do it? She's not here, Mr. Zero. Here, where only the most favored dwell, that wisest and purest of spirits is nowhere to be found. I don't understand it. Wait a minute, will ya? I think somebody's calling. Mr. Zero! Mr. Zero! Who the hell's that now? I wonder if the wife's on my trail already. <laughs> that would be swell. And I figured on her being good for another 20 years anyhow. <laughs> Mr. Zero! Nah, they're in the voice. Just when a guy's taking life easy and having a good time. Well, here she comes, whoever she is. Well, if it ain't, what do you know about that? I've been following you for days, calling and calling. Didn't you hear me? Not till just now. You look kind of weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, then sit down, take a load off your feet. It's all right, he's a friend of mine. Buddy, I'd like you to meet my friend, Mr. Moore. He's a friend of mine. I guess you don't mind if she sits here a while and goes off, do you? No, no. Certainly not. I was just taking a rest myself. I, uh, I took my shoes off and I kind of my feet being so small. Yeah, I'm kind of tired, too. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, ain't it pretty here, though? Yeah, it is. What do they call this place? Ah, uh, I you saw it just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, say, buddy, what did they call this place anyhow? You don't hear me, he's thinking again. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with him? I uh, 
He's the guy that murdered his mother. Oh, yes, I am! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had it all figured out that they was going to host him or something, and now they ain't going to do nothing to him. He's kind of got his goat. Yeah. 
mean it. I love you. You ain't kidding, are you? No, I don't get it. I mean it. I never had the nerve to tell you before, but no, I don't care. It don't make no difference now. I mean it. Every word. I don't know. Listen to me. There's someone else I'm gonna ask you. I, I gotta tell you. I may as well tell you everything now. It don't make no difference now. About my blowing out the gas. Do you know why I done it? Yeah, you said I'm not kind of a being can. I just told you that. That ain't the real reason. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason is on account of you. Mm. You mean on account of me passing out? Yeah, that's it. I didn't want to go on living. Oh, what for? What did I have to go on living for? I didn't have nothing to live for with you gone. I haven't thought of doing it before, but I never had the nerve to. Anyhow, I didn't want to leave you. Then me bawling you out about breathing too fast and breathing too slow. Why did you do that? I don't know, but I swear to God. I was always stuck on you, and why would I be adding the figures? I'd be thinking, how why did I do a need to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Before I knew it, I was falling you out. That was the time I think about blowing out the gas, but I never did it until you was gone. And it wasn't so easy, anyhow. I could never stand the smell of gas, and all the while I was preparing, you know, stuffing up the cracks and read about in the paper. And I was thinking of you and hoping that maybe I'd see you again. And I made up my mind if I ever did see you again, I'd tell you. Good night, Make up for all the lost times. I wish we 
Oh. We sure we're fools. Yeah, I don't care. I got you now.
zero. Cease firing. What did you say? I said stop punching that machine. Stop. Yes. Can you stop? Here, just give me a hand. Stop. How about the idea? Can't you leave me alone? How long have you been here? Uh, just 25 years, 300 months, 9,131 days, 136,000. Do that, do. I ain't missed the day. Not now. Not a minute. Look at all I got. It's time to quit. Quit? What do you mean quit? I gotta quit. Got to. What for? What do I have to quit for? It's time for you to go back. Go back? Quit? What are you talking about? Back to Earth, you dub. Where do you think? Huh. Go on, Cap. Yeah. Quit you get? I'm not getting anybody. Don't call me Cap. I'm Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lieutenant, all right. But what's this you're trying to tell me about all that? Time's up, I'm telling you. You must be pretty thick. How many times do you want to be told a thing? This is the first I ever heard about going back. Nobody ever said nothing to me about it before. You didn't think you were going to stay here forever, did you? Sure, why not? I did my bit, didn't I? 45 years ago, 25 years at the store. And then the boss came me and I'm not in cold. I guess we I know all about that. that. Okay. What's that got to do with it? Well, I done my bit, didn't I? Dad ought to let me out. So you think you're all through, do you? Sure I do. I did the best I could while I was there, and then I passed out. And now I'm sitting pretty here. You've got a fine idea of the way they run things, you have. Do you think they're going to all the trouble of making a soul just to use it once? Well, so that seems to me. It seems to you, does it? Well, who are you? And what do you know about it? Why, man, they use a soul over and over again. Over and over until it's worn out. Nobody well, ever told me. So you thought you were all through, did you? Well, that's a hot one, that is. Who's I to know? Use your brains. Where do we put them all? <laughs> Crowded enough as is. <laughs> Why, man, this place is nothing but a kind of repair and service station. <laughs> laundry, you might say. We get the souls in here by the bushel full. Then we get busy and clean them up. We want to see some of them. And the holes in the flower sifter. We fix them up, we disinfect them, get them a kerosene rub, and then the holes, and back they go. Everything is good as new. You need to say I've been here before? Before the last time, I mean? Here before. You poor boo. <laughs> How was that? I don't remember nothing about it. Well, that's partly because you're stupid. <laughs> but it's mostly because that's the way they fix it. They're funny in that way. Every now and then they'll do something white like that. When you least expect it. I guess the economy's not the bottom of it, though. They figured that the soldiers would get worn out quicker, they remember. No, none of them remember? <laughs> <laughs> well, some do. You see, there's different types. There's a type that gets a little bit better each time it goes back. We just give them a wash and send them right through. <laughs> and there's another type. The type that gets a little worse each time. <laughs> That's where you belong. <laughs> see? You mean to say I've been getting worse all the time? Yes, a little bit worse each time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what was I when I started? Some big? A king or something? Ha ha ha! Oh, no, 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 Look here, what do you mean by saying I'm getting worse all the time? What I said, worse than that is a monkey. Of course, you did just what all the other monkeys did. But still, kept you out in the open air. And if you weren't woman shy, there was this one little red-headed monkey. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>
Now what you were doing in your back will strike by the forward flip. You were going down, down. Two thousand years ago you were a Roman galley slave. You were on one of the triremes that knocked the Carthaginian fleet for a goal. But get a whip. But you had muscles then. Chest muscle, back muscle, biceps. Oh, bunch of mush. <laughs> Wake up, you mutt! Where do you think you are? Another thousand years, you were a surf, a lump of clay, digging up other lumps of clay. You were an iron collar then. The white ones hadn't been invented yet. Another long step down, but where you dug, potatoes grew, and that helped fatten the pigs, which was something. And now, well, I don't want to rub it in. Rub it in? It's right! It seems to me I got a pretty healthy kick coming. I ain't that square deal. Hard work, that's all I ever had. What else were you ever good for? Well, that ain't the point. The point is, I threw it. I had enough. Let him find somebody else to do the dirty work. I quit right here and now. Poor, spineless, brainless boob. 
Sorry, Bree. Keep me here. Don't send me back. Let me stay. Get up. Didn't I tell you I can't do anything for you? Come on. Time's up. I can't. I can't. I'm afraid to go through it all again. I've got to, I tell you. Come on now. What did you tell me so much for? Couldn't you just let me go thinking everything was going to be all right? You wanted to know, didn't you? How did I know what he was going to tell me? No, I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. I'll be thinking about it all the time. All right. Do the best I can for you. I'll send a girl with you to keep you company. A girl? What for? What will a girl do? She'll help make you forget your troubles. She will? Where is she? Oh, wait a minute. I'll call her. Oh, oh, you who? Yes, I did. Wait a minute. Isabella, why don't you take the back? <laughs> really, isn't she? Charlie, dear. What do you say her name? Hope. H O P E. Is she good looking? Is she good looking? Oh boy, wait till you see her. She's a blonde with big blue eyes and red hair. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha. 